<laughs> Action! What's up guys? Fahad here with Zah once again and today we have our brother here, Wang Wan. We have seen him previously in our rides, Totistran and East West Loop. Yes. And today we have his bike, hmm. CF Moto 800 MT and as you guys know I did an ultimate review on this so do check that out if you haven't. But for today we're gonna see an owner's point of view. I think you rode this for quite some time already. How long? 11 months basic. So we're months. gonna hear from the owner himself 11 <laughs> months on the CF Moto 800 MT. So before one tell us the story about his bike, we're gonna give a bit of background about it. Eh? First launched in 2021, the CF Moto 800MT is an adventure touring bike based around the old KTM 790 adventure platform. As the company's flagship, the 800MT is CF Moto's most ambitious motorcycle yet, with over the top riding tech and features in collaboration with well known names in the industry, namely Bosch, KYB, and J. Joan. Engine is derived from the KTM LC8 parallel twin as used on the KTM 790 series of bikes. A 799cc liquid cool 4 stroke parallel twin cylinder DOHC, 4 valves per cylinder with Bosch electronic fuel injection, and a 6 speed manual transmission with bi directional quick shifter. Okay, one, first of mm. all, uh, I want to ask you why you get the same Moto 800MT <laughs> as your bike. <laughs> To put it bluntly, I was poisoned by my father-in-law. Uh, father yeah. father but then, I actually don't know about this bike. So uh, one day, he just talked to me like, hey, there's a new bike in the market, a CF Moto with a KTM engine. I'm like, oh, okay, what is it? Then he showed me everything. But then I wanted to get uh, either a typical bike like a GS or African Twin. But then it's too expensive. So I wanted to get Super Tenier or the, what's that bike? GTR, is it? Uh, yang concourse. Uh, concourse. concourse but then a lot of people say oh the, there's no more production the spare parts that tak ada all this so I'm like hmm, why not just buy a new bike so I just end up with this lah <laughs> this bike lah so 11 months you use ah. so so far how is it? It's amazing. It takes me to places I've never been before. <laughs> Great lah, Cameron. No, I can take my wife. It's a good bike. It's a good bike. Yeah. Don't forget the ketong also. Ah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> before you were riding this, what are the previous bike that you rode before? Oh, for my 2B, I took my dad's bike, SYM Joyride 200, I think. Then for class 2A, I bought Super 4 Spec 3. Oh, that one really sucked a lot of money. Yeah, I think <laughs> because I. Because you makan so. minyak. No, 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 it's about the scamming part. So I went to a shop, then they say this one spoil, this one spoil, then I parried the shop. I jumped to another shop, the boss just called me. Ah. Like, still, hey, you go which workshop, why is everything so like messy? Lah? Why everything was slid That's like, I don't know anything. Like, I just pay, then you just do. Lah, right? <laughs> yeah, that, super 4, then after that, it's this. Lah. Not a lot of experience. Not a lot. I, I think the scamming part, uh, I have to say, uh, the way you cannot avoid. Uh, yeah. All riders will go through it. Uh. Four to five K. For yourself, how much you bought this bike? I think I bought around 42 or 43. 42, uh, I think 42. Okay, not too bad. Yeah. Not bad, uh, with all the mm -hmm. bells and whistles. It's mm -hmm. so easy yeah. to uh. Yes. And then some more, they come with a lot of accessories. Crash bar included, mm. side panniers, mm. top box. Bracket also. Uh, I think you don't have to spend any more for these additional accessories. Yes. You know? Unless if you like buy an Africa Twin or GS, mm -hmm. you want to add on this one, that one, this one, that one, already cost money. So how's the handling like for you? You got already compared maybe to your other bikes? Ah? This one is much more comfortable during the first few days. Lah. Mm. It feels quite weird because the cost of before quite low. Again. So when I sit on this bike, it feels like I'm I feel like I'm above the normal car's height. Uh -huh. So like, eh, why so weird? Uh? But then slowly I get used to it and slowly I'm loving it. Uh -huh. Doesn't cause back pain, only the vibrations. Uh -huh. That's like at the grip puppies. Yeah. What's the vibration? Is it during idling or during moving? Moving off. It's quite bad. Uh. You just numb your fingers. Uh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's why I add this uh, grip puppies. Is it because it's a single cylinder? It's a dual cylinder. Oh, dual cylinder. It's a parallel sorry. twin. Parallel yeah. twin. I, don't even, I don't even know about this. Fuck you. I don't know. Okay. Your, engine, your bike engine, you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, but I don't think it's like that, right? You know? oh, yeah, yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Okay, okay, okay. I like that one. 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 I like
<laughs> if you were to describe its engine performance in your own words, how would you describe it? So far, I got no problem with it. It's quite very, it's very responsive. But then one thing I don't like is the, the sound. It's just noisy, yeah, to me. It's, it's quite, noise, yeah, it's it's noisy to me. Maybe to some others not, but to me it's noisy. It's really really hot, uh, especially when you stuck in the traffic jam. Your inner tire can feel the burn. Uh. It's very hot, uh, I tell you. But if you move at fast speed. 100, uh, 90, still okay. For the acceleration, how would you describe it? Is it sluggish or fast? Okay? I mean, compared to Superfly. Really can pick up? Oh, really? Because since it's a uh, KTM engine. Yeah, it's smooth, it's fast, it's good la, to me. Really yeah. to race, huh? Really yeah. to race. Huh? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> when you're on the highway, how fast have you tried? The highest I tried, I think 193. 193, but that's when you feel very light. You don't know where your balls at really. <laughs> la. Yeah, it's like when you slight turn, eh, you can feel like, you, you know that you're going to fly. But as I see like at that point of time, Shamil, the Super Tenier was steady. The Harley Davidson was steady. I was like, just praying. Eh. Just praying don't accident. Eh. Yeah. So that's 193. So yeah. do you think this thing can go some more? No. <laughs> 193 is no. the max. Eh? No. No. I, don't, I, I really don't think so. Maybe... I, I've never seen anyone say that they went above 200 with this bike. Yeah, 800cc. Yeah, more you want. No, sir. Yeah. It's a touring bike. It's not meant to go fast. At 150, I think it's already fast enough, sir. So, how's the maintenance like for the bike? Maintenance, 5km, 3 bottles, still okay. La. Still okay. I haven't go for those major servicing like valve clearance, eh. spark plug, all this I haven't hit. La. Just every 5km, I come back there, just change. La. Yeah, 5,000, 5,000. What's the full tank and how far have you... Can you go on a full tank? I believe 19 litre is a full tank. I've tried. By meter, it's 320 lah. But I don't dare. So I just go 315 lah. That's the furthest I've been lah. For an 800cc bike, 319 litres. Okay, okay lah. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay lah. I mean, uh, the average lah. It's, it's not too economical mm. and it's not too gas gasoline also. If, it, if you're telling me like it can go 250, uh, 19 litre, uh, that one, <laughs> talan minyak. Maybe <laughs> it's a KTM engine. Yeah, so yeah. Kuat talan minyak. Memang kuat talan minyak. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't expect all this, no. Mm. I really didn't expect. I thought like fuel consumption going to be better than this. My mistake was I didn't really do research on this bike. Lah. Mm. Uh, I look at the videos, I look, but then I'm more attracted to the looks of the bike. Mm. I don't know about the in of the bike or this one, what rim, la, what size, la, I don't know. I don't know all this. Got cruise control. La. Oh, I don't know. I, I, when I buy the bike, then oh, got cruise control. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. I live without a bike without cruise control. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I didn't I didn't know a lot of stuff like this plug in point got two. I thought I only got one. <laughs> yeah, and so. what okay, is? can I ask you now? Did you ever see the bike before you buy it? I see on internet and I test uh, ride the bike once at Woolen. I mean did you bring uh. home for test ride or whatever? No. No. They offer you. No, just just rounding, that's all. I see the I mean, the looks also nice, la, I have to say. Uh, yeah, mm, it's see. very attractive, yes. very adventurous. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, I mean, at a glance, you thought it, it looks like a tenere. Mm -hmm. At a glance, and yeah. You know, only that this color, I think, is limited edition. Eh? Yeah, but then it's not that good. Eh. You you see oh. this part, all this oil stain. Oh, difficult the, to remove. Uh. The, it can't be removed already, they say. So, this one is all matte, though. Uh -huh. So, kena oil stain oh, no. permanent la. So, like, I like the color, I love the color But then, mm. all these small, small things You like. wash soap also? Cannot, cannot. Rap la, rap, rap Rap la, rap, rap. <laughs> Too late, too late really. it, They say, I, I asked one guy on Carousel about rapping uh -huh. They say, on matte surfaces, it might not stick well mm -hmm. But I don't know Is it true? Yeah, it's yeah. true Probably la, depending <laughs> on how Who Who do Who do uh, uh, like, Because uh, I know Man Lambat very good. Eh? Malam bad. Malam bad. CS graphics. CS graphics. He did my bike. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, the Liki Molly bike. Ah, yes. Oh. Oh, so maybe you can find. He mentioned that to me that bad services very difficult to stick, but yet it stick for years. Ah. <laughs> oh. Mm. Interesting. So interesting. must see who do lah. Mm. Yeah, but he did warn me also lah. And then I have to say I love the features that this bike has. Lah. I mean. Full, like you say, lah, full mm. package. Just buy the bike, it's already come all accessorized. Mm. Mm. Uh, there's, there's nothing more than I can ask for, you know. Except for if it was a 1000cc engine, it would be much better. Mean, better, uh. better uh. So yeah. I have to ask you about your cash bar. 
<laughs> one rusty, sir. <laughs> this one, right, I, I bought from AliExpress. Uh. So it's not the original part. I think uh, because of the bag, uh, the strap, friction. Oh. La. So I, I think so, la. that's why it's rusty. La. But the original part is this one, so not to worry. Oh, so this uh. is the extender? La. Yeah, this is the extender. I see, I see. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, extender. Okay, okay. I thought original easily oh, no. rust. <laughs> then it would be like, what? The, 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 the original the, screw rust. <laughs> yeah, you can see over here, couple of rusty parts. Then my main stand near yeah, screw just pecah. Here's a tip, eh? I want to share with everyone. Eh? If you just bought a bike or you know you can see some rusting on your screws, right? Mm. Get yourself a nail polish, the clear nail polish. Then paint over that screw, right? Uh -huh. With that clear nail polish. Oh, uh -uh. it acts like a coat? Yes, it acts like a coating. Oh, uh, and at the know. same time, when it dries, uh -huh. you cannot see any stains uh -huh. on that screw, you know? Now we know. I also like the seat. It's very plush. That is one, one, one of my favourite things about the bike. Uh, 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 so mm. One of the reasons why I buy this bike also because my wife likes this seat. La. So she built with you together when you were buying it? La. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she was complaining about the Super 4 non-stop. That's why she wanted this bike. So what other accessories do you put? Then this bags. You oh, yeah. already got so much space. <laughs> then you still put the back. Stylo. Uh, adventure. <laughs> uh, adventure. Uh, just buy these bags for raincoat. Uh. This cover for anti glare, I think. This thing I buy, but then it's useless now. La. Actually, it's not to put my cord lock, oh. but then it cannot be. So, like, just let it be, la, whatever. La. Man, uh, Apple CarPlay. La. Expensive. Eh? <laughs> yeah, but then, this one I buy the tank bag, but I never wear today. Yeah, I never buy You put. Uh, apa tu Roman itu? Hmm? Uh, Insta, Insta, Insta T C T. Insta T C T. Why the? Why the question like that? Okay, okay, Insta T C T. Ah, idea, idea. Hmm. Can also, can also. What's this, ah? Oh, this one my fog light. Medium. Yeah, this one can adjust one, ah. But then Brightness this one is, uh, I just installed from a guy at issue now. White, white bulb Cree, ah. Oh, this, yeah, okay, cause the. The original fog light again. Ah, it has fog it's, light, right? it's, it's quite white, so I don't like it. So that's why I, I purchased another one ah, ah. to fix onto it. Yeah. You went to Genting, climbing up hill with your wife as a pillion. How mm. would you describe this performance? Well, it actually performed more than what I expected. I was actually having the fear of it like rolling back because of its power and maybe I'm not skilled enough. Maybe I just talk it out, right? But then it actually performed quite well, eh, actually. Yeah, I, I was surprised. I was surprised of that. Plus this, uh, what do you call it? Nimbleness? It, yeah, the handling is quite smooth. It's like I, I'm not scared that I will fall with the bike. Mm -hmm. So when I bend it, after I, I can get up straight. It's not like it's like it's, it's so safe, it's safe to say. Corners, yeah, yeah. So like I trust this bike lah. Yeah, mm, yeah. I, I love it. I love it. The power just nice to me. Height just nice to me. So you ever drop before? No? Sorry? This bike ever dropped before? Oh no, not yet. I almost dropped the, uh -huh. uh, remember the main stand, uh, the uh -huh. nut loose, right? Oh, oh yeah. So yeah. what happened was, I tried to put on main stand you know, like this. Can I move the bike? Can I? Can, okay, can. Okay. Like this, right? So mm -hmm. when I move up, can. Okay. Uh, move up. The bike, uh, instead of at a level, mm -hmm. the bike is slanted to the right. Oh. So I, I, dah macam gini dah. I was living with the bike. Yeah. So, that one almost dropped lah, but lucky never dropped lah. I also noticed that you have this box. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah. This one, I saw some BMW riders putting it lah. Then I asked oh. them, oh what's this box? They say it's a toolbox. Toolbox. So good for me lah. So inside I got my bandages, a tire puncture kit, portable pump, and bungee cords. That's all oh, lah. Oh, that's cool man. That's cool. Yeah. Two already, yeah. anytime inside this one. <laughs> what are the things that you think this bike is lacking or can, can be improved? Improve? Safe to say what I hate about this bike lah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I hate the screws. The screws really piss me off uh, really. Then the the matte texture or the or color. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you get the other color? I wanted to. I bought this bike first. My friend wanted to buy the same bike. So he want to take the blue, I take the green. But last minute he just, you know the father don't let him buy. He was going to get married. So he just leave me uh, So I just end up buying it, uh, getting this uh. Oh, so then yeah. you change the colors. I signed already, also. Allah, mm. but the other day you mentioned about the suspension, about some issues on your end. Oh, okay. So I went to the workshop. I told them, hey, when uh, my wife is with me, we're riding. There's this sound like, like a metal sound clicking. And he told me, oh, it's a suspension. So okay, so he 
he adjusted the suspension. But then it still happens again, so the storm still coming. After like three months or two months, uh, then I found out it's a chain. The chain was too tight or too loose, lah, something like that. Lah. So after changing the chain, no more sound. Oh. Yeah, it's a stock chain. Lah. Yeah. So now okay already? Lah. Now okay already. So, so the chain you still go back to the same shop or different shop? The chain, yeah, the, the chain I go to the shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's go mm. to the one. Go to the same shop. Lah. Yeah. Is, is it true that if you are warranted by a shop, right? You should always go to the shop to change your normal servicing? Depending. 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 Because like engine oil, all that, they say must go to their shop if not the warranty void. Because keep, they keep track oh, of the engine oil, you change and all that. Uh, unless it's major servicing, then you have to go back to the mm, shop. La, I think. But but if you talk about the normal wear and tear, chain, servicing, tires, any, any shops, any shop also can do it. Okay, 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 yeah. okay, okay. So the agent give you how many years warranty? I think, I think five. Five, five years? years. I, I, I think five. La. Unlimited yeah. mileage or? Oh, that one I'm not sure. Five I, years, I okay. Five. I still cannot match Triumph. Uh. The first four years, uh. every month, EJ all also can. Serious? Uh? Triumph. Uh, yeah. Opening. Because uh. now the uh, competitive. Uh. Uh, yeah, mm. very competitive. <laughs> la. Motorcycle. It's a very small industry in Singapore. Mm. And so everybody is competing for business. Yeah. So that's why you have to come up with ways to entice customers to buy your product. Mm. <laughs> so you mentioned, huh? you mentioned the screws like what? Is it because the, the screw screws. to chabot or rusty? So the one part is the main stand screw to chabot. Yeah. Actually, it's split into half. Lah. Yeah. I got it fixed already. Second one, the screws are rusty. And third, this one. You can see here. Mm -hmm. So what happened was, I was cleaning my chain guard. Lah. Is it called chain guard, right? Uh -huh. Chain guard, correct. So I take it out already. Definitely when I want to put it on. Lah. I, was, I was screwing it back lah, gently. Sekali, eh, why non-stop ah, the screw turn? Ah? <laughs> Never bite. Lah. Yeah, lah, eh. I take out and see, eh, alamak, the, the, the thread all the house already lah, like, oh shit, <laughs> then I cannot do anything, then I tell the shop, they like, mm, cannot do anything, I'm like, oh. So, oh, like that? I don't know, but doesn't flip or anything, so. Oh, so it just wobbles only lah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that yeah. sucks, man. Are you in any safe moto 800MT bike group, talk group, or any forum? Uh, yeah. For Singapore, we have a CF Moto group chat. They always ask for me up all that. Lah. It's, it's quite a close group. Lah. Mm -hmm. And I joined this Malaysian group, CF Moto 800 MT group. Lah. Over there, they're very strong at poisoning you. Lah. <laughs> Buying the stuff, they keep changing tyres like money come out from trees. Yeah, those couple of groups. Lah. So, so from, from those uh, interaction, uh, has anyone brought up any issues about the engine? Or any problems that is inherent to the bike, you know. I because I remember watching one video of the 800 MP radiator leak, radiator the bocor. Mana nampak kan? Mine lah. Is it? I, I, mine. I don't know if it's a radiator or not. Uh -huh. But the what's that? The the coolant water keep dripping. Mm -hmm. So I asked the workshop. I was then they just say, oh, just send your bike to the shop. So I send. Then they just change whatever they need to change. After that, no more dripping. But what went wrong, they never informed me. But they gave me a receipt of the coolant water. Lah. Mm. They have to pay for the coolant water. But what exactly went wrong, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, so that's one of the issues I see lah, with the bike. Plus the... If you're talking about stock, eh, the tyres. The tyres over some time, the... I don't know how you call it. Like, tyres supposed to be perfectly circle again. So like there's like humps on the tires. I don't know why it happened or how it happened, but Is I also it fresh that. tires or worn out tires really. Eh, still good eh. Hmm. I was on my nine months. It happened to me. So Those because, two things uh. Because the 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 video or that that radiator burst right. It's like I think somewhere in China or was it was white color 800 MT, but the whole radiator, radiator you know just. Oh. Burst. Burst and then uh, the hose cabut. Maybe too hot. Everything. Eh? Huh? Is it too hot? Maybe that's why. I have no idea. But that's that's the video. So that's why I want to know whether is there any inherent problem worldwide for mm. this particular model. Because I know China has made very massive progress mm. on motorcycle technology and improvement and all that not. So what I want to know is the new quality. QC, whether it's there or not. Mm. Maybe it didn't happen to your bike. Maybe that particular bike they didn't check properly. Probably that video is the make and break of the 800MT, you know. <laughs> Just 
just because that video people start oh hey, and the MT China made by lousy <laughs> lah, I also have this point to ask you lah. Hmm. Uh, I heard CA photo owners complaining about their boxes water going in. Did it happen to you? Water seep in too. Oh no, didn't. Oh. So yeah, they told me a few things about this cruise, right? The inner pipe, uh, they recommend me to use a, is it a hot gun to oh, seal the pipe. But then I, the gear, I don't want to listen to them. But then so far, nothing happened. Uh, maybe they were the first batch or what? <laughs> yeah. Before that, also, before I buy this bike, actually, I heard uh, a lot of complaints I did somewhere about the gear. The, is it the quick shifter? They say that when you change your gear, then it will like the jerk, is it? I'm not sure, but for this bike, so far, okay. Only the problem I have is with the stock tires and the radiator part. Lah. That's all. Lah. One more thing. That time we were riding at the East West, at EWL. Uh. Lah. So we were on uh, Discord, right? So sometimes the, the display over here go crazy. It goes to on call mode. I cannot exit from there. I, I press any button, pun tak boleh. Cannot exit. I need to switch off the, edgi, uh, switch off the engine, switch it on back. Then I can see my other options. Ah. So you mean you can connect your phone to the display? Eh? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool, man. But there's this function, I don't know what is it for. Bluetooth. But then it's for helmet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what is it for. Like BMW. Okay. Maybe you should explore more. So far, what's your best memory with your 800MT? Eh? Oh, I got two specifically. One is the enjoying the corners. At Great Highway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's, that's really fun. That's really fun. Second was the one I went out uh, Genting with my wife. It's the first ride up that we went, other than Malacca. Mm. So it's it's quite uh, it's quite it's quite it's quite adventurous lah for us, for me and myself. Because it, it's it's good to see this bike performs and it's good to see how she handles for long journey all this and especially when it's up slope. I'm not very light, so I'm quite heavy. The feel of the bike just what is it called wheelie? Eh? Mm -hmm. Popping up, it's very high in me. So the most of the time when I'm riding up the slopes, ask my wife to just lean forward with me <laughs> and just just pray, <laughs> just pray. Uh, uh, nothing bad will happen. Uh, yeah, those two memories are uh, those two memories. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So, would you recommend the bike to others? I would not recommend this bike. Huh? But Why? then, I would recommend the Expedition one. Oh, the, the one. white and black color. Explorer, yeah. you mean? Explorer. I forget the, the name. Explorer, like. Explorer. 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 I think Explorer is Explorer, yeah. Hmm. That, that bike is, I think, is the more, uh, what's that, uh, refined maybe, of this bike. Maybe, maybe through feedback given by the current owners of this bike, hmm. they make improvements to it, uh, yeah. possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. It's oh. a, Maybe they have bigger tank. Oh, <laughs> exactly the same. Maybe. It's just that the screen, the software, bigger. and some other minor, minor tweaks. Like Corrida, front and back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cool it's like the, what's that, Yamaha Tracer, eh? yeah. GT Plus. Yeah, they have that also. That's cool. Eh? But I heard they selling at the same price of this bike. Oh, this so that bike. Price, <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe never make any more. La. <laughs> yeah. So that bike is better. La. Should mm. get that la, instead. Okay, one, once again, thank you for thank you. showing thank you us me. about this bike, eh, the 800 MT. <laughs> Yet we have an owner's point of view mm -hmm. to share. I like the bike also, la, but then, like you say, eh, maybe I'll go for the Expedition. new one. La, the yeah. Explorer, Explorer Edition. Any riders who want to review the bike with us? Or share the right us do get in touch with us on our social media pages below. Like and share this video with your riding khakis and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> and maybe you'll see him more also. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>